right. Our forecast, nice today, but, but humid. Yeah, humid, a little bit of cloud cover. We're seeing that uh, move through the area. Yeah. It's not going to change too much. We are going to have a hot, dry weekend, so if you're heading out and about today, cloud cover is likely to be uh, a more dominant feature in the skies. Maybe a few sprinkles. I'll show you where on the radar in a minute. Let's go outside. At the moment, at uh, 12, 16, you can see we have quite a bit of cloud cover. I'm not seeing too much more than that at the moment. We're going to probably see the cloud cover stick around for most of the day, even though you may pick up a few breaks, I think, overall. It's uh, just going to be mostly cloudy. So hang in there. And uh, rain chances are minimal, but we'll look at those here in just a second. Cloud cover all the way up uh, north and south. Let me back up just a little bit. This is a, a special loop of some higher resolution imagery that we catch just this little quadrant of. So you can see that we do have a uh, good uh, visible shot of the cloud cover around the area. But if we look at some of the satellite imagery, the, the radar and shower activity, it's been heavier to the south. In fact, we had quite a bit of rainfall late yesterday evening up in Mason and then out to Del Rio. Had record rainfall that way and then we had some very heavy rainfall from uh, del rio down to the southeast as this system has continued let's see if i can show you the 24 uh, there we go 24 hour radar now you can see up in mason texas uh, right there between mason and brady little highway that runs through there and we did see quite a bit of rainfall looking out to uh, southwest of junction heavy rainfall del rio over seven inches of rain recorded officially there and then that whole storm system started to dive to the southeast and as it did well it got all the way down to corpus christi and you can see that they've had heavy rain all through those areas so good, a lot, of, a lot of agricultural interests down that way. Very latest right now shows that those showers continue, although they're not severe. Real quick check of our local situation. If you're in San Marcos heading south, you've got a few showers. Let me put the laps on this. You can see how the rain has been pushing through. Maybe the, with a little bit of heating, this could fire up a little bit. We called for a possibility for showers today, and it looks like it is more the case from Austin to the south, and obviously a little bit northeast of San Antonio, uh, I-35 area, Shirts, Texas. It uh, looks like it's pretty rainy. All right, outside, 78 degrees, clouds, winds out of the east, southeast at 7, humidity at 76%. This morning, temperatures in the lower 70s. Right now, we're in the upper 70s and some lower 80s. Now, 81 at the airport, 80 at Bastrop, 81 at Giddings, 83 in LaGrange, 81 in Rockdale, whereas we have mid and upper 70s out to the west in the hill country. There it is from yesterday evening into this morning, just after midnight. Heavy thunderstorms in Del Rio, over 7 inches of rain there. This little system then proceeded to move to the southeast, and we have one little system out here over the Austin area, just to the south of the Austin area over New Braunfels that we're watching. Nothing severe on it. We did see a couple of lightning strikes on it. Forecast models have been uh, talking about a possibility for showers, and there's noon, and you can see that little line of showers right in there. I really don't count that as well-defined. The rain that we had to the southwest of us, that already played out, and I don't see anything building up on that. So I think it's uh, catching some of these well and missing on others. The overall picture is that we have scattered showers and thunder showers across the state. We don't have a risk for severe weather here, but that rain can get heavy at times. So let's put the rain chances in there for today. 90 the high, winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15, rain into the early afternoon afternoon hours and then dying out. Seven-day forecast, you can see it for yourself, 90s today. 90 at the top end temperature, 20% chance for rain, 10% tomorrow. And then after that, well, hot and dry. Highs, mid, upper 90s, lows, lower 70s. You can see a slight chance of rain way off in the distance there as we get into Monday, and it looks like more of Monday evening. More on our forecast coming up.